Teen suicides are increasing in Tennessee. A recent report shows a 24% increase from 2016 to 2017. And as News Channel 5's Kyle Horan learned, activists are trying to raise awareness to the issue to prevent deaths from happening. One life is too many, and our goal has to be zero uh, suicides. Clark Flatt knows the impact of teenage suicides all too well. I lost Jason, my youngest son, who was age 16 at the time, on July the 16th, 1997, to suicide. His son's death drove Flat to start the Jason Foundation. He was a very good in athletics, uh, very popular in school, a lot of friends, uh, active in his church, no drug or alcohol problems. His son is memorialized by this picture, hanging in the front lobby of the foundation's office, a reminder of their mission, awareness, and prevention. No one was talking about it. Uh, very little was being done in awareness and even less in training people on how to recognize warning signs and what to do once you saw those. Platt is acutely aware of the issue now. Stressors for suicide come in many forms. Trouble in the classroom, relationships, just to name a few. So why is there a nationwide trend, one in which Tennessee isn't immune, of teenage suicides increasing? that we saw a over a 24 percent increase in deaths with the age group of 0 to 17 and that's very alarming. The Tennessee Suicide Prevention Network or TSPN tracks the data. Their executive director Scott Ridgway breaks it down. Schools or families will say well this will never happen to me but the reality is it happens every day. In our state we lose three Tennesseans to suicide. That's all ages. It's the second leading cause of preventable death. And it kills more people than opioids, an epidemic that's talked about a lot more often. Ridgway says the best way to stop this is to pay attention to your kids. Sometimes uh, kids, we don't re recognize that they may be depressed. Uh, undiagnosed depression is the number one risk factor. Kyle Horan, News Channel 5.